Time, the common cold and influenza cost this country millions of pounds a year in lost time and efficiency. Bill Smith, the cafe proprietor, John Smith, the bank clerk, Jane Smith, the typist, and Tom Smith, the factory hand, all lost on an average nearly a week's work a year because of colds. In wartime, Bill Smith is an AFS man, John Smith is a fire watcher, Jane Smith is a canteen driver, and Tom Smith a munitions worker. And nowadays they can't be spared from their post for an hour, much less a week. Colds and influenza and other illnesses can cut down the output of a factory by a tenth or even more. So we've got to keep down colds and flu and other infectious fevers. But how? Well, the first thing is to know a little more about how we catch them. A shell in store won't do anyone much harm. It is when it's shot through the air that it becomes deadly. Much the same applies to germs. When a man sneezes, he fires germs into the air like a bursting shell. Infection is spread very easily by what doctors call direct projectile infection. What we call sneezing, coughing and spitting, and even talking. If you know a man is going to fire a shell at you, the first thing you do is to get behind some sort of defense, like armor plating. A steel helmet keeps off shell splinters. These days we may have to face a concentration of germs, because many of us are living and sleeping in places never intended to be lived and slept in. So the wisest thing is to wear a shield against germs. Such a shield, called a germ mask, has been designed by the country's leading medical authorities working with the Ministry of Health. Masks have been known to the medical profession for years. In hospitals and sick rooms, doctors and nurses wear masks so that they neither transmit infection to the patient nor receive infection themselves. Exactly the same principle is behind these germ masks designed for the ordinary man and woman. In 10 minutes, this woman's mask shielded her from no less than 980 colonies of germs. The mask's effectiveness can be proved in the laboratory. A mask which has been worn is being impressed on a special dish. An unused mask has been impressed on the other one. Both dishes are then incubated for 24 hours. This is the result. The worn mask, as the microscope shows, was covered with germs. Here is the unused mask, quite clean. The risks of infection are greatest in crowds. So the government has in hand large quantities of masks which will be issued to shelterers whenever it is essential. If the shelter doctor or nurse gives you a mask, we'll wear it. But we can't expect the government to protect us all against our ordinary personal risks. You can do a lot yourself by making your own germ masks. Here is one type which you can make from a piece of muslin about five inches by seven inches. Watch how simple it is to do. Fold it so that it is four layers thick. Sew on tape each side to go round the head, and there's your mask. An ordinary handkerchief makes a perfectly effective mask. But remember that when you've used it as a mask, it is just as dirty as if you'd sneezed into it. Paper masks are sensible because they can be burned after use. You can make simple ones with sheets of ordinary foolscap paper and an elastic band, like this. Masks needn't be ugly either. This is how you can make one from a piece of chiffon or other fabric. It has elastic threaded through the top and a triangle of oil silk sewn in. There you have glamour as well as hygiene. Yes, fashion designers have made masks that combine germ resistance with pleasant appearance.
But whatever kind of mask you wear, never let anyone else use it, never leave it lying about, never wear it dirty. And don't blame your mask if by some mischance you do happen to catch cold. A mask helps to protect you. It can't make up for sound sleep, fresh air and sunshine. But it can shield you from direct infection when you're in a crowd or working with infected people. Physical fitness is more essential now than ever before. And the germ mask is a simple way of keeping the germs at bay. Get one and wear it now.